Captain Marvel is directed by uh, Anna Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck, and stars Brie Larson, Samuel Jackson, Jude Law, Ben Middleson, and among others. And this is now the 20... 22nd. 21st, I think. Yeah, 21st. Yeah, 21st film yeah. in the Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in this film, uh, we, the, we deal with uh, the character of Carol... Denver's uh, Denver's sorry who comes from a distant past and uh, she she started out well it's as I saw in the trailers she was a um, it shows that in her life that she was a, a pilot uh, in, the like air, air, in the in the Air Force yeah and uh, she starts to fully it uncover was like an 86 yeah like 89 yeah 89 or and shit, yeah. there's basically like you see in the trailers she is part of this group that's called the space like this uh, space mar marine Marines, type, yeah. like uh, like space cops, basically, kind of yeah. like similar There's, to the they see me, they see their their selves as heroes, yeah, of the galaxy, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's a war that happens between the 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 the, the Kroll or the the Kree scroll. and the Scroll uh, yeah. war that's happening between the various these various like green looking people that look, look kind of like the Piccolo dude off of Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> and um, uh, they all they look also look like. Um, God, I've seen them before in something. They look, they look like something like something from Star Trek. I've yeah, seen them like from Star Trek the reboot, the yeah. two thousand nine one. The, yeah, like the like ne Nemo. Yeah, or Nero. I'm sorry, uh, but anyway, basically the the plot deals where um, Brie Larson's character she teams up with Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson, and they are are she comes to Earth looking for this the thing, doctor. The, the, the doctor that, uh, that she sees in her dream. Yeah, uh, who's they hook by, her up on this thing. She kind of sees this this woman. She's looking for that woman. Yeah, and yeah. she's played by Annette Bening. Yeah. And basically, the, the film deals with them having to sort of, uh, look for her while trying to evade these alien race that we mentioned earlier. Well, they're also... Uh, at the same time or after the scrolls because they their job is to make sh uh, when the scrolls go to certain planets they don't want them killing off the planets those people that you know the the living people of that planet so they go in there and try to kill them to, yeah they stop them from doing that yeah. yeah now here's some backstory now as you know this is this is now the 21st film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's yeah. began all the way back when Iron Man first came out, 2008, and and has been going on for a while. And uh, going now, as you know, I have been a longtime fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Same and here. I've always Same been here. looking forward to every single one of the movies that have come out. Yeah. Now there have been movies that have come out like that I'm not always like the most hyped type with. Like last year when we had Black Panther coming out, yeah, as far I'll, as open open minded, so to speak. But because because usually when it comes to like the solo films that they're doing to lead yeah. up to the next Avengers film, it, it's always very mixed reactions for like me. Like Black Panther and be honest with you, Captain Marvel tonight. Yeah, uh, is some of the few I just like. I I mean, of course I'm gonna go see them because I've seen every one of them. I I go see them. That's my job. Is, you know, I go see them motherfuckers yeah. in theaters. I cannot not see them. Yeah. However, in terms of hypeability. Black Panther, no offense to people that loved it and people that loved this movie. I wasn't as hyped as I would say Spider Man last year or uh, two years ago. I was hyped for that. Yeah. I was hyped for, you know, of course the Avenger yeah, movies. The Guardians of the Galaxy. I was always hyped for Captain America. Uh, certain ones I am, certain ones I'm not hyped. Yeah, like there's there's certain movies that depending on the way they're they, they the, the trailers go by and everything, it, it always just it creates and, and it's like, not pull. nothing to do political. It's just I don't know much about Black Panther or and I didn't know much, much about, about Captain, Captain Mar Marvel. Marvel. I didn't know about them. As you guys know, if you guys uh growing up, the ones who are highly praise is Iron Man, Captain America, okay. Spider-Man. Those are the ones I know. I mean, to be a, uh, to be honest, even Thor I wasn't the biggest fan of. Yeah, either. it's it's just it's always going to yeah. be different types of movies. Yeah. But with that being said, like you were saying with the trailers that with this one, I just it looked like like every other Marvel film that was yeah. coming out, like when they do these and going into it, it's, it's exactly what I expected. Yeah. Now good. it's good. It's good, but it's You've seen it before. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really like if you've seen all the like even going back to the first phase one films like the first yeah. Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor, it's really on those same type of levels. Yeah. Now there's things in this that they do kind of like 
take spins on that I kind of liked. Mm. Like, but as far as like same formula, they do the exact same thing. And not only that, and people say, well, well okay, what do you mean? You liked you probably Captain America's solo opening film, but you don't like this. What's the difference? Uh, on the writing standpoint, I do see it, a big difference. Yeah, it, okay, so to get our pros out of the way, yeah. uh, Brie Larson, yes, there was Brie a Larson lot of skeptical with her going into the film. A lot of people said, debated whether or not she was going to be able to carry the movie. And I believed, in my opinion, I really thought she did. She, she really did. carried a lot of, not only a great uh, chemistry with between her and Nick Fury with Samuel Jackson, yeah. but also I, I like that you know she really brought her level, because the way that her character comes from, it seems like she's meant to be in this kind of stoic kind of state that yeah. she's in yeah. and because she's trying to figure out her past and stuff. She doesn't and, know who she is. Yeah. yeah. And while there could have been a better direction writing involved with that because yeah. based on the story they go with her, I agree. But as far as what she brings to this character, I'm, I'm glad yeah. that she's she was cast. Her perform this. Yeah, her performance was great. She was well casted. Uh, a lot of people were worried that she was just going to have this blank stare the whole film. Like but Kristen she Stewart? <laughs> yeah. Kristen, she didn't, Kristen Stewart the movie. Yeah. She did great. Uh, ki great chemistry with uh, Samuel Jim Jackson. And her and, friend and, also, yeah. uh, who, her yeah. former uh, Air Force buddy. Yeah. Uh, I like their two together. And plus, one of the biggest mm -hmm. Steven Stiller scenes the most is the cat they have. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Goose. <laughs> Yeah. So that was the, everybody's fun. performance and was great. The villains were also great too. Like yeah. uh, the men, Ben O'Mendelson, who's in this film. Like he's been cast in a lot of different villains, villain roles. Yeah. But he's always great as the villain. And this yes. one, he it's almost like he's playing kind of like Ready Player One's villain yeah. in a way. Because yeah. there's even a reference when he puts on these glasses and stuff in one scene. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of reminds me of Ready Player One. And you know, he has a lot of funny moments too. Yeah. Um. So he was. Yeah. That, that was another thing I liked. It, uh, as a pro is the comedy the yeah, lines really went, there was some shit that had me laugh and Samuel Jackson again does it again yeah. steals it and my biggest strong point the most for this is really the 90s feel like cause growing up yes the, the 90s, 90s nostalgia feel, here's the thing with that the 90s nostalgia that they go with is great but they didn't do as much it's as I thought they were doing. Yeah, it's it very because everybody was uh, so hyped saying this was going to be the whole movie. No, it no, wasn't. not really. I mean, it is. You can yeah. tell that it is set in the '90s, and they do take action with it. But it's not really like one of those movies like you see, for example. Like, when you watch a movie, for example, like... No, here's an example. Stranger Things in the 80s. Yeah. How strong that is, it is nowhere near yeah, that. It, yeah, it doesn't really capture it a whole lot, but when they yeah. do various songs and things like that that you see from the 90s, yeah. it, it still brings a lot of joy, and yeah. I, I enjoy seeing the, the stuff yeah, they have Yeah, the stuff that they do. I thought it was clever to have Space Invaders in space. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was pretty, pretty cool. funny. But. Um, but I like that. And, yeah. and, you know, the the visuals, they were they were good, too. Like the visual, All right, the visual effects were really good great the cgi was blended very well and however there was maybe a scene or two here that yeah was though that really accommodates more with the with the the effects they used to bring uh sam and jackson look younger i thought that was fucking great yes i will tell you right now we're in this new era now where they're doing like this stuff where they're doing that where they're taking people who have either passed away or they're so old they need to get their young we've seen that and we've seen it kind of cringy lately yeah this is by far the probably the best they've yeah, ever done because they only not only make him look younger but yeah. they also make uh if you remember colson the the guy who was part of the agents uh, uh, part of the shield operations mm -hmm. he's also in this played by clark Gregg, and they made him look pretty good yeah. too yeah so i it, when i was watching i was like man it, they really did so great with making the the facial expressions and everything with samuel jackson look you know fucking young like he was in the 90s yeah and so yeah and there were there were parts of the story that i got into to, especially yeah, with how story. we're, we're yeah. starting to deal with like how she's investigating and there's a there's a great twist that they bring up with who she goes after in the film that I won't reveal but I like that they did a spin on it yeah. which I thought was cool it, it basically it, predicting a villain it does a twist which is cool you'll see yeah yeah and but as but I, that, as far as my cons this is kind of where I get into yeah. more about the story problems because uh, with this out of the we're going back to like some of the Marvel earlier films, like the solo yeah. films, I feel like this one was a little bit more of the weaker ones as far as writing. Yes, because I felt like the bat, like the, the development they do with Carol, like it's interesting with how they shut it up with showing how strong she becomes and everything. But I felt like it's very 
underdeveloped, so to speak. Yeah, it's not. Right. It's very short lived. How Brie they Larson, it. we said earlier, did a fantastic job. She did. However, the writing of her character is very weak in this film. This is probably one of the weakest I've ever seen any of the Marvels get written. Yeah, uh, characters because really, even Black Panther was well written. Yeah, uh, I mean, his character. Yeah, this one was the weakest. Yeah, in my because opinion, we on get that. to see basically glimpses of her of her backstory here and there that are it's spliced in between, mm -hmm. and we we do see the progression that she goes through. It's just that the way that it goes along, I felt there was a lack of emotion in some scenes. Now, there are some, not saying there, there are emotional scenes in this film that kind of got to me, especially later. It's just that the way that they develop it going along, it feels like it's just kind of there. You know, well, you don't they really... keep showing you the same scenes and then they finally want to reveal everything. And it's revealed like in one minute, and it really isn't that clever. If you That's think what I'm about saying, it. yeah, because it, it's kind of weak. If you, yeah. if you really put your mind, think about it. And another pro I have, you know, or can't con. Re <laughs> yeah, con or yeah, con. Blah, blah. Like we said, problem with these stories with with these um, these solo films. Not saying it's a horrible thing. The villain is just not, you know, it's. Not the worst, but it's just it's just it's, just, it's very standard. It's a, it's a villain. It's a, it's, it's the, your boom, typical villain, villain yeah. that you see all the time in these 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 solo type Marvel films. And I'm not really familiar with Captain Marvel. Like I said, I wasn't. I don't know much about her. I can't really go and you know and understand a lot. But I I mean I hear in the comments it's like this. So if it is cool, I do feel her being un. Like unstoppable, yeah. Kind the, of the, the vulnerability that they lack with this oh really got God. too out of hand in parts. Now there are sequences where she kind of feels some pain. It's just that throughout the entire course of the film, it's almost like she's basically fucking Superman. Like yeah. Thanos is gonna die in two seconds. Yeah, and, and really, I don't they, want that. That's what I'm saying. They they, they really should have went farther yeah. with her because look, even, look what she did. To the other guys other, that show up. Yeah, that's from a. Uh, other movie, yeah. I really, it they was took, too fucking quick. Them, them motherfuckers, it took them the whole movie and a half. She did it in like two seconds. Yeah, huh? I mean, I yeah. get that she's supposed to be the old powerful and everything, but we we really the, there the difference be an is all power, powerful, well, really. if there is, they need to have obstacles in order to no, show. No, here's they, what they should have done. They should have never made her so that powerful. And when they all come together, she could have been the last piece, and they could have been all like you know, like how Power Rangers came together like the and they made the, made the mega thing. Morgan Zord. Yeah, where they're unstoppable. Yeah. That's how they should do it. Not one character should be unstoppable. Because really, especially when she's going to be an in game, uh, man, if she really, I hope they write it yeah, down. Yeah, they, they really, you can't tell me that she's going to go up to Thanos and be like, you're dead. Yeah, boom. Because that's exactly what she did. And, I mean, she got smacked maybe once. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, and she's making a joke about it, like, oh man, I'm so, and like she went right through space, and I was like, damn, she's so powerful. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. there's, there's certain limitations you have to do in order to make a character flow and actually yeah. be fleshed out like this. So, because if you've seen those other. Uh, if you've seen other films that deal with superheroes that mm -hmm. show their weak points, they do that in a very good way. Like, for example, Superman did that. Superman has a weakness. Kryptonite. You know, there's yeah. certain characters that you can still be all-powerful, but they have to have uh, uh, something that stops them throughout the course of the film. Well, i got a con here, too. Uh, there's some editing problems in yeah, this film. Yeah, I was going to uh, get to that. Uh, one particular where she comes to Earth and... You, this is where we get to see Nick Fury when he's young for the first time, and he's talking to her. He's like, "Who are you?" You know, just blankly just showed out of nowhere. It's like you think, like, where the hell? You know, how did he know and all this stuff? Yeah. And then, like, a scene or two later, she's like, "Nick Fury." I'm like, "That's weird. how did you already know who he is?" And you didn't know who he was, you know. It's like they were already friends. The next scene, yeah. It's like it's, I feel like there was yeah, some the, missing. There was also a problem with that with the beginning because yeah. the beginning when we're starting to see like glimpses of her story, I felt like it was glossed over a little too much with the editing, and it, it, it wasn't really focused too well on that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that, that that's was, basically the. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. much you know all we got. But I mean, did I? The movie was still good overall. Yes, it was still. But good. I will say that. 
on compared to like some of the other Marvel Cinematic Universe films, it's definitely not the one of the better ones, but it's still like kind of a middle of the road type of you know yeah. type of like in those in that in that series. So yeah. with that, um, I'm probably gonna give the film probably just like a I don't know maybe just a low compelling on yeah. the film free spinner. Yeah, I was going low compelling too. Like it's definitely won't be make my top ten, but it still was a good movie. Yeah, uh, overall. Um, Fair yeah, enough. For, the, for for those of you who have also seen Captain Marvel and the other uh, cinematic universe films, um, Marvel Cinematic Universe films, let us know in the comments below of what you thought about it. And if you like what you see here, you can feel free to like and subscribe to our channel and check out some more other reviews here and our website at filmfreaks.com. And coming up, we'll be doing our spoiler discussion of the film here shortly. We'll see you later. Later.